Welcome to Art Studio. I'm Lisa Lowell, and today we are going to show you how to add lots and lots of color to your space. And here to show us some really fun projects is Katie Flatley from Art to Grow on Children's Art Center. Welcome, Katie. Hi. So glad to have you here today. Glad to be here. I always love when Art to Grow on comes because there's lots of color and lots of fun stuff. I know, lots of fun. Show us what we're going to do today. Well, I'm going to teach you how to make your own flowers. How fun. Using felt and tissue. Excellent. Great. Let's get started. OK. The first thing you'll need is a coat hanger. OK. The good old wire hanger. <laughs> okay. So this will be our stem, mm -hmm. and you can cut on the top and bottom with okay. a wire cutter. So on the top and bottom of uh -huh. my hands, or show me where we're going to cut. So you can cut right there, and then right at the point there. Got so it. You just have a long okay. stem. Great. So just make a snip there. Okay, easy and enough. Snip there. Great. Okay. Got to use and a little we'll muscle set, for that. Yeah, we'll <laughs> set this aside. Okay. And then we're going to wrap this with green tape. Okay. So it looks like a green stem. Why don't you get us started? Show okay. us how we do that. So it's helpful to make small tears of tape. Okay. So that you can just cover, you don't have to wrap for too long, but just. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And just cover it um, by wrapping the green tape around the wire. Oh, great. And do you have to worry about the end being a little bit um, sharp? I will show you how to curve the end so it's safe. Okay. So if you're doing this project with kids, which you are a children's right, art center, yes. so you often do these projects with kids, right. so I understand. Got to curve it at the end so that no one gets poked in the eye. Okay. So I'm just making you some little tape pieces. And Great. You can wrap that. And it doesn't have to look, it can look kind of ruffled up. Just okay, like good. a real flower. Just like a real one. Stem, yeah. Great. But no thorns. No thorns, even better. <laughs> and no water needed. Yes. <laughs> the best part. <laughs> now is this a project that you would do as one of your classes um, at we, Art to Grow On? We probably wouldn't do it with um, young children, mm -hmm. but maybe like with our teen classes we could show how to create a flower using wire and tissue and felt. Fun thing they to do for their really, room. Yeah. Absolutely. That would be neat. Bright colors for the room. Yes. So another way we could also do it is if you wanted to do it long ways. Oh, that that's might a good be idea. Kind of a, um, and start at the Make edge. it a little faster. Mm -hmm. Roll it. And just kind of spin it around the wire. Ooh, it's looking nice. Lots Got a little of bit of texture. I like that. Makes it this would real. be a fun way to, um, a fun little gift mm -hmm. to give to someone, a fun way to decorate for. I think so. A party or a spring holiday or. You could do, yeah, you could make flowers for um, like a centerpiece for a, a party a or party a party or a shower or, or anything uh -huh. like that. That would be fun. You could even have your guests make them. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> so you can make your stem as long or short as you'd like. Okay. If you wanted to stop there, I could show you how to start making okay. the flower. Okay, great. And then we'll use the wire tool to bend it. The okay, end. perfect. And it sets in the vase better. Okay, so we're done with that. And okay. what we'll do is we'll take out our felt. Mm -hmm. And I'll let you pick the colors you want for your flowers. So we pick multiple colors for our yes. flowers, right? I like bright colors. So I'm gonna About pick a three would be good. Okay, great. Okay, perfect. So we've got your three. Are you colors. gonna make one with me? You sure, to make I'll one? make good. one. Let's make one together. <laughs> so plus, then I can cheat and see what you're doing. Uh, That's my other motivation for that. So what we'll do is we'll take our three colors, and then um, we'll take a pair of scissors, okay. and then just really you can cut out whatever shape you'd like. Just think organic lines. Okay. Nothing, unless you wanted to do sharp edged, um, pointy petals, it's really your choice. But I find it's easier just to kind of yeah, there you go. Just, just go kind of move it. around the felt. And just think of all the beautiful flowers you've seen in your life before. Absolutely. That's Try to fun. recreate. Great. So you can just set your scraps aside. Okay. Great. And then pick up the next mm -hmm. color. And I find it's helpful to maybe start small and then start to think about making your petal just a little bit bigger this time. So that way it'll show through. So we're doing another layer. Yeah, you're going to another, another layer. Shape. Got so it. you might even kind of hold the other one above okay. and just go around. Cute. And again, make any kind of shape you want. Now, Art to Grow On, do you, where can we find you and your programs? Well, we are actually all over Torrance oh, great. and the South Bay. Excellent. So I teach in community centers. I understand you teach at the Cultural Arts I Center. Do. Here I do. I teach Torrance. at the Torrance Com That's great. Cultural Arts Center. So you can do one more. I'm just going to keep mine pink and yellow. Okay. And then make this one just a little bit larger. This is easy. 
It's really easy and a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, great. And can we kind of turn them a little bit yes. so they're not turn them one on and top? kind of make it look the way you want? And then I'm going to show you how to make the hole to put the wire stem. Okay, great. Through. So once you've got it, okay, mm -hmm. take your first one and fold it. Okay. And then you're going to make a little snip in the middle. Great. Great. Good. Just a little tiny mm -hmm. snip. And you're going to do that to the second one too. So you just fold it right in half and then just make a little snip with your scissors. And then take your third one and do the same. Great. Okay. So now all three of your flower petals should have a small hole in the middle. Okay. And so here's the line fun those part. up. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, so what you get to do, Lisa, is go ahead and put your stem through okay. the bottom there. And you're going to take your wire cutter. Okay. And you're going to twist in. I'll let you go ahead and do that. I'll hold okay. it for you. So I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to twist. Yep, thank you. Down. And it's kind of fun to make it. Oh, neat. Like Cute. a little. And then you just squeeze bubble. it together. Yeah. There we go. And if you needed to, you could put another little piece of tape at the end just to cover it up. Cover it up. Mm -hmm. And then the final part, one of the final steps, will be to kind of take your petals and kind of um, scrunch them together. Cute. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is take a pipe cleaner and... I'm going to give mine a haircut. Yeah, do. You can round it out a little go. bit. So we don't have a squirt off the There we go. Before. <laughs> yeah. And you could leave it flat like this. Okay. You could do a couple mm -hmm. like that. But what I also found was fun is to actually cup it. Great. I'm going to turn then, this to the side so we can see yeah. what we're doing there. And then you take your pipe cleaner mm -hmm. and start to oh, what a good idea. it around. Yet another use for the pipe cleaner. <laughs> we love pipe cleaners. And twist, yes. And that's working with pipe cleaners are so, you know, it's very easy. What is it about pipe cleaners with kids? They love them. They do. I, have they ever been used to clean pipes? I don't know ah. what. <laughs> so I'm just so twisting and kind of making like the bottom of the, what a flower would look like. With the green pipe cleaner and then pinching it at the bottom. Got it. Oh, look at that. And yes. Fluffed up. That is Isn't so that fun? cute. And then at the bottom, you can. Um, Cut it again. Great. And then you can twist the bottom. I find it's, um, you can either stick it inside the vase like this, mm -hmm. or you could round it out. And I so, see that you did that, I think, on yes. a couple we can show. <laughs> How you rounded them out. Just twirl, yes. Yeah, so and can, then it helps anchor it in the vase yeah. with it. And you even stuck two together, which I, I think is a really cute I idea. Did. And just by using more tape at the bottom. Uh huh. What a cute idea. And you also brought paper, tissue paper flowers. Yes, these were fun to make as well. I can't wait to show you. So we can put that one in with Great. our other. Absolutely, make our little arrangement. So the tissue flower, um, the tissue flowers will be the same kind of a thing, but I'm gonna let you pick out colors of tissue that you might like okay. first. So you can either. I'll take those blues and greens. I like okay. those colors, that sounds good. Let me get those out for you. And with the tissue, you'll wanna make Depending on how big you want your flower to be, mm -hmm. that's probably um, a medium sized square that okay. I cut out. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you make a square. And do and we cut out one layer at a time or do you cut you multiple layers? You can do layers? two. Okay. I think it's helpful to just do two at a time. Okay. Let's do a quick square there of pink. Mm -hmm. I like this tissue, it has a little bit of a shine. It does, it's very nice. Now what ages does Art to Grow On teach? Our, what we range is start it as young as 15 months. Do you really? Yes. Wow. And then we um, will also be having some teen classes. Oh, that's great. Because so, you do to, after school programs yes. you mentioned too. We do after school, uh, we have community center classes, we can do private visits at the home or at our oh, office. That's great. That would be fun for a party oh, yes. too. Oh yes. Do a birthday party. Those too. Crafting birthday party. So you've got your pink. You want to mm -hmm. do another color? Sure. Let's okay. do a yellow since okay. it's right there. That's perfect. And again, it doesn't matter like what you know your square looks like because we're going to be rounding it off. Okay. Yeah. Great. So, so what do we do next? All right. So if you want to go ahead and take your yellow mm -hmm. and um, pink, you could cut them together or separate. Okay. But um, you're just you going to round your edges. Okay. Yeah. For both paint, both. Yeah, and I'll help you do one too. Great. Just round your edges. I'm going to bump up to the grown-up scissors. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Make things a little bit easier, a little faster. 
do you have a background in teaching or in art, or how did you get I into have, doing this? I Katie? have a background in both. You do? Yes. I started um, with an art degree, getting wow, my uh, uh, BFA in painting and printmaking, so definitely wanted to be able to do my own art first, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then I went and got a master's degree in art education. Oh, good for you. I great. love it. You're combining all of those loves in yeah. this, I assume. It's so much fun. I love it. So we have three colors, or two colors, mm -hmm. but three petals. Uh -huh. So what you're going to do with this one is you're going to actually uh, cut the middle again. Okay. So you're going to make a snip. So you can fold all three of those and make a small snip in the middle. Great. Okay, got it. And we'll need another stem, so I'll have you cut okay. the wire again with our wire cutter. Or try to cut the wire <laughs> with the wire cutter. I'll let you do that, maybe. Right there. there we go. Two hands. Two hands. Always help. A little bit of muscle. There we Good. go. Good, okay. And then we get to wrap this one again, too. Right. Maybe we I can like your long way. Do, just yeah. for the, the interest of time here. With art, you always learn little helpful hints yes. that can kind of do it your own way. Absolutely. So we'll do green here and twist. So I'm twisting. Great. Okay. Still have lots of texture. That's fun. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Okay. And so then you're going to do the same thing you did with the felt flowers where you take the wire and through. go through those holes. Okay. Doing a wonderful job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I love doing these projects. Great. So here's the fun part. You get to, similar to the felt flowers, mm -hmm. kind of pull up and then twist. Okay. And as you do that, do you want to do it? I mean, you show okay. me the technique. How's that? Okay. So I'm kind of pinching from the under underneath uh -huh. of the flower, and as I pull it together, look how pretty oh, it looks. That's so it pretty. Looks like real little petals. And it really doesn't matter the shape you start out with. No, it doesn't at all. It all. So wow, this looks like a rose. It's pretty. And so I'm just twisting with my artist fingers and, and mm -hmm. turning. And I like pinching. that with your artist fingers. I say that to the students. So that's well. great. And so I'm kind of pulling and ruffling, and I'll let you do it too because it's there's okay. so much. Oh, fun. look at that comes to life, that is really fun. And as you go, you can do like And this. I love that you can see that little green yes. stem in the middle. So you're gonna do the same thing you do with the felt, where you take the wire cutters mm -hmm. and you twist. Twist it down. Yes, so that okay. it stays on there. I'll okay. hold that back for you. You're never gonna wanna go buy flowers now that you've made them. No way. Mm -hmm. Great, that looks forever. perfect. So it's twisted on there, and then yeah. would you still do the pipe cleaner on the bottom for you this one? You can do the pipe cleaner on the bottom. Um, and this time, it might be kind of fun to use another color if you want. Interesting color, absolutely. Let's use this bright That's orange. That's another thing about art. You can use whatever color makes right. you happy. This is a fun project. It is fun. So essentially, you can make a big bouquet of these. I was just thinking, this <laughs> takes this the the bridal, you know, the, the bridal showers where they use those ribbon bouquets. Uh huh. This would be a nice way to update the the ribbon bouquet that they it, use for the rehearsal. It right? would the be wedding fun. <laughs> Cute. So you just twist that around. Yeah. Nice work. Okay. I like the orange with the other colors. So we'll just pretend we finished twisting yeah, that all the way twist around. Yeah, turn. There we go. There you go. It's safe. There's nothing poking out. That's and then great. again on the bottom, if you want to snip the end. Okay. You can do that. So let's just snip that and stick it in our. And then you would twist that again. Although we're yeah, just going we to stick it in. That. We're sure. just going to stick it in for now, so we have enough time for you to show us yes. the wonderful vases that you put. Nice these work flowers on the flowers. In. Thank you. So, that was fun. This is a vase that I created using just tissue paper again. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, Maj Maj, which okay. dries shiny and clear. Okay, the good old decoupage medium, we uh -huh. all remember. Yeah. Okay, good. So how do we go about making this? Okay. Um, we'll use that little green bowl that already has a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. So you can add Maj Maj to the water. And I just pour in the Maj Maj with the water. Oh, you do? Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. And then stir with a paintbrush. Okay. So we'll do this together. So you just want to thin it out a little bit. Yes, you just want it to be kind of a, a milky white consistency, and that way you can just paint on with ease. Okay. Are we going to use this? This face? is going to be fun. Okay. We have a blank fun. canvas per se. Sure do, and we all have these lying around. Uh huh. So it's nice yes, to spruce them up a little bit. A, a vase. Now I get to make it into an art project. Good. So we have a little tray of different tissue paper colors. There's polka dots. Let's work together on this yeah. one. This will be a joint effort. And you can just find any um, colors that you want or shapes. Great. And you can start to 
paint a little bit of the Mod Podge onto the glass. Okay. So you can just put a little bit on. Mm -hmm. Any place that you want to start. And then you just lay the tissue on top. Okay, great. And you can use, again, either your paintbrush or your fingers and just kind of go over keep it. Going. Yeah, and you can go over the actual tissue. It's a little bit of a messier project, but it dries shiny and clear, so there's so nice. really no you know mess up ever. And do you need to let it dry um, if you want to do multiple layers? Do you need to let it dry in between layers? You could just keep um, layering up, and then eventually it'll dry all the same way. Oh, that's great. So yeah, and it looks really pretty as you put different colors over. Yeah, it really does. It has almost yeah. a stained glass effect when you finish. Mm -hmm. The fun part too is you can cut out different shapes. We have large circles. Can you see? We've got an orange one that's cut out, so we could even do like a big orange. And I noticed and that you, seat. I noticed that you brought because one of your vases over there. So I'm going to hand this to you oh, so yes, I can show okay. it. Uh, you brought one that has photos and pictures. That one was really fun to do as so well. How did you? What did you use for these images? Um, actually, what I did, I'll set this aside mm -hmm. for a moment. Great, I'll um, work on it. Is I brought in some magazines to show you. Just some fun pages that I um, put together for ideas to make your own. Great. But you can look in magazines. I don't use words when I do mine. Okay. I just do okay. images or mm -hmm. colors or Great. patterns. So this one's really pretty. It's got the dots. So you can start to cut out things that catch your eye. Nice. So it becomes like an artist experience just in and it of itself. Just some fun things that kind of catch your eye that you might want to put onto a vase. I think these flowers are really pretty, so you could just cut that out. Nice. And now swear. does it matter if it gets a little wrinkled it like doesn't. that on the round vase? It doesn't because it'll just dry shiny and clear. So that's nice. And we could actually do both. We could do magazine and tissue. Okay, great. That would be really pretty and add Absolutely. depth to your piece. There you go. Let's put a little more of this on. Right on our so orange. Mod Podge is like your glue. And it's oh, also, it's even gotten a little orange. Yeah, it's getting <laughs> a little orange in there. A little glaze. Call that a happy accident. That's right. <laughs> that's right. There Beautiful are no accident. mistakes in art, yes. right? That's what I've learned. Wow. Or that's what I tell myself anyway. It's looking so nice. I love it. Oh, that's pretty. A little gold there. And how long would this take to dry? If you covered the whole thing, how long I would it take? I'd say give it 20 minutes. Oh, that's all? Yeah. So this is a great project, like if you really wanted to do it for a party and you had the afternoon to do it that night for mm -hmm. the party, um, that's great. it dries pretty quick. And so. do you put another layer of anything on top to hold it? or It depends. If you, one layer should be fine. If you looked at it after it was dry and you wanted to add more, you could. Okay. So you don't need to put a glaze or anything on top? Nope. And I, we always end up with so many of these vases from diff different uh -huh. parties. You get to walk off with the lovely centerpiece, and then you have all these things to, to what use. What do you do with it? And these would really, this would make a fun gift mm -hmm. for a grandparent or Mother's yeah. Day or anything. Any kind of homemade gift is just that much better. And you mentioned that you're doing teen classes. Do you do adult classes as well? We would like to have some adult classes. That's kind of the next venture that we have on the horizon. I could see a girls night out art I night. I think so, yes. We could do Doing privates. Some, that would be fun. We've had that happen before. Get a, get a little away from the kids projects uh -huh. for the moms Definitely. and let them do something that's Everyone really... Everyone needs to do art, so. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know, especially with what's been happening in the schools, really it's nice to have a program mm -hmm. like this. Definitely. Because so much of art is no longer even available for kids. No, it's so fun to go into the classroom and just see the kids smile and they know that they're getting, getting to have some art today. That's nice. That looks so beautiful. Now, would you just keep layering even on top? Yeah, you could I'm keep going. some more magazine out. Sure, you. sure. Yeah, as you're moving around, that's um, part of the art. It's like you're painting with paper. So great. you might look at it and say, oh, I need to touch more orange on that side. Some more color. Or I'd like another magazine piece on this side. Now, do you do all types of media uh -huh. in, in your classes? Or yes. do you have a, a preference? Or do you find the kids have a preference? You know, it just, it's different for everybody. Some kids really like painting. We have little easels set up. Other kids would rather just sit and um, create a Play-Doh masterpiece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have that as well. Um, some kids really, really enjoy drawing. Oh, that's good. Yes. I have a couple other pages that I cut out. This one was really pretty with the Oh, it's brush. amazing when you look at the magazines in a different way instead of just the interior design or right. whatever it is that they're showing you. 
so many magazines have beautiful things that maybe I maybe can't go out and buy, but I That's can right. at least put it onto my you face. Can, you can, yes, pretend. That's right. Or the, the, the paint color du jour, right? Yes. The hot new paint color. I really the, like this color, the pink. It's pretty. And purple together matches what you've already done. I'll put that right there. Great. Oh, you're concerning yourself with matching. I'm just throwing ah. it on there. It's fun. Yeah, once the Mod Podge is on there, it makes it really easy just to put a piece of tissue down. And I'm trying to get us to an almost finished piece so okay. you can show us how we can embellish it yes. too. So I want to get it, you just brought some really cute things to put on the edge. Yes, I so did. So I'm going to try to get this one covered up. I like how that Mod Podge takes on a little hue. Pink it and does. peach colored orange. You need no paint. You need no paint, that's for sure. Look at that, no time at all. We have almost a covered yeah. face. This is a little bit messier than the flowers. It's a little bit messier, but you we like that. You want to have an apron on like we, we like do. mess. It all washes off, right? Yes, it all washes off. So right now it might kind of look like a gloppy mess, but as it tries, it looks like stained glass when you're done. You'll be so surprised. I want to show that, this, fin this finished yes. piece here. Because it's just, it looks so different. It dries and then it really, it's got the sheen to it. Did you put a layer of it on top? I anything? just did the same thing we just did and it just dries like that. That's so great. Yeah. Well, and just so we don't run out of time, okay. I just want to show some of the embellishments that you brought. Yes. If Assuming this were dry, yes. that you could just yes, stick yes. in. If you could just show us some of these little pieces. Well, what I did is I cut out a couple little um, just ribbon that I had. Um, you can go to a fabric store too. But uh, again, you might find that you have some ribbon mm -hmm. maybe in a drawer sure. or something you're not using. And you can use um, either two of them together. If mm -hmm. you wanted to, you could just wrap like two. Oh, that's cute. And do, twisted. Yeah, and, and tie just, it. Do you glue it on with the same? That one I did glue with just a glue stick. Okay. So um, you could take this uh, daisy mm -hmm. or the red flower and then put a little bit of glue along the edge. So any kind of glue, you could do Elmer's. I wouldn't think to use a glue stick for this, so that makes it a little bit easier, I think. If you had a glue gun and you wanted to go quick and mm -hmm. just put a spot of glue gun on there, that would work. Great. That should oh, hold it. Oh, that's so cute. And then if, if you want to cut it. Cute. How cute. So you, assuming this were dry and it would stay. Yeah, it would get stay. Get the idea though, how cute. You could have a yes. really finished piece in no time. And then you could tie another little ribbon however you'd like and then your flowers go inside. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And I want to show, you brought some really cute paper cards I did. too that I would love I to love show. I love making cards. I think every artist enjoys making cards and of course Hallmark has yeah. beautiful cards. But well, all things the same. Yes. As, yeah, homemade. So this one is just made out of paper. Okay, a little bit of a thicker paper. Mm -hmm. Yes, great. it's a little bit thicker. Um, if all you had was uh, computer paper, that would be okay too. Okay. But um, you'll want to fold in half mm -hmm. and crease. I'm just working around the Mod Podge here. Yes, I know. <laughs> you might bit. have to put, actually we could put a piece down perfect. right here. Let's as our do a little table. mat. Yeah. Perfect. So on this project, you basically get to make another flower, but it's just going to be using paper. So you just cut out little shapes of paper for that. I just cut out little petals, a stem, and some grass. I did the fringe. Uh -huh. So you've got yours folded, and then you can just take a pair of scissors. And you the just cut little, might, yeah, be little shapes. And I like that it looks a little rough. You didn't mm -hmm. make your shapes mm -hmm. perfect. You didn't use a template, which you, of course you could do. But I like that it looks a little rustic. Yes, definitely. Mirrors nature. Nature is not perfect, but it's no, so that's beautiful. True. I'm oh, a big like fan it. of making cards. A yeah. big fan. Um, if I have time, I think it's a lot of fun, and they don't have to be complicated. No. You can add it to your homemade gift of flowers. Your homemade cards. So what you can do is just start to put your um, arrange your petals on the paper. Okay. You'll want to use glue stick. Mm -hmm. So you could either put glue stick down first and tape it, or you could put a little glue stick on the edge. Okay. It's really a, your choice, however you want to work. I think I'm going to put the glue stick on the paper, just, okay. to, just to, so we can make. Okay. And this will dry clear, this pink yes, glue stick? Yes, that will dry clear as That's well, kind of even though it looks pink right now. Sure does. <laughs> sure the kids does. love that. I bet. It's actually kind of nice because you can see where your glue is. It is nice. It's 
pretty nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do a, a little embellishing of my grass quickly so we can show finished okay, card. Okay. Yes. So I hate to rush what you. What we're gonna do too, and um, I'm gonna have you think outside the box with color. Is instead of using just green for grass and green like we do ah, our stems, okay. I'm gonna have you choose a different color, maybe even orange. I like it. And do a long stem. Okay. And then grass. Always encourage my art students. That's to a good whatever idea. Whatever colors make them smile. That's it doesn't a great have idea. to be. The exact colors we see in nature. Absolutely. That is beautiful. That's fun. I love it. That's really fun. And you fun. might have to do just a, yeah, a, little, a little trimming, trimming on the end. And the grass is really fun. So you'll want to like measure, and you can do whatever color you want. Okay. Um, okay. You can, sure. Beautiful. Go for it. Yeah, so the fringe on the grass, you just make little cuts into the Okay, paper. so did you cut across to do a strip and then make your fringe? Um, actually, you can do the fringe first and then cut it out. Okay. Nice. Cute. Yeah. Who doesn't love a little fringe? Yeah. And then you can cut out the rectangle there. And you might have to do two. Okay. But you'll want to do another glue stick. Great. Magic of television. We have to go a little bit faster mm -hmm. than you might go <laughs> in your normal life. And then, I, how did you get that texture there? You know what I did is I just took my artist's fingers mm -hmm. and I just kind of pull up my fingernails or fingers. That's great. And just kind of make it look like it's standing up. Yeah. Now we have a little extra Mod Podge on ours, which I you wouldn't it. normally have, but I that's quite it. all right. And then the inside, you get to write a little note. That is using really any color of marker you choose. So much fun. What do you think your card would be for? I think my card would be for my mom. Oh, that's sweet. I think sweet. she would like it. I think she would like it. I love it. And I love that we're messy. We had a great time. I know. And I can't thank you enough, Katie, for showing us these wonderful You're projects. We hope we've inspired you to take a class with Art to Grow On and try your hands at some of these fun projects. If you have any questions or you want more information about today's crafts, please call us or email us. I'm Lisa Lowell. Thanks for watching Art Studio, and we'll see you next time.